hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh I'm scared. This almost feels like the gauntlet or something. I mean. Not any UFC or fighting or stuff like that, but um, if you've been around bison, you put them in places like this where they're used to being out roaming around, and you put them in tight places like this here, it gets a little crazy. <laughs> Guys, we're raising the American bison. There's, there's no other animal like this. And today, watching this, I know it's hard to watch and it's intense. And I try to bring you as close in as possible. But I want you to see what really goes on behind, behind the scenes of, of, of these animals. Uh, you see them out here grazing. You see all the, uh, the majestic scenery and all those things that these guys provide and that you see. But there's things that we got to do in the background so that we can have these animals and that they can be healthy and that they can have red dogs. And, you know, those, that's, those are exciting things. But it takes a lot of work to get there, as you can tell. But She's stressed out. We'll hold those two little bulls right there. Okay. So squeeze this first. This here. Yeah, she's stressed out. Okay, get her some LA. I got a squeeze. Here, I got it. Okay, so. That was a little nerve wracking. I have to be honest. I need the experience with a manual squeeze chute. I've worked with a hydraulic one. It's much easier, um, but I wanted to get some hands-on experience and she was the first one up. And she's just a little bit crazy. Um, crazier than well, probably my craziest one out of all of them. Whenever um, Dakota came up here, our first cow, the one that's been sick, but uh, let me tell you something, she's doing so much better. She doesn't look great, but she looks a lot better than she did in November when I took her to the vet. You can go back and watch one of those videos if you're just now joining us. She gets stressed out really quick and easy. And so, you know, you've got three things going on here. You've got to shut the gate so she can't back out. You've got to squeeze her down, and then you got to get a, you've got to close on the head gate here. So, a lot going on. I have to be honest. I was a little nervous about it. It was my first time there and I didn't do a very good job. I actually um, didn't squeeze her down, which is the second thing you gotta do. 
after you close the gate behind her so she can't back out because she's in the squeeze chute. But I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to put myself in that situation so um, I could go through it and I could learn. And that's part of this. And I want to be able to do this. Obviously, you have to have help, but I wanted to do it right here. So it's way different. Doc, I give all the credit to him because he's done this for so long, but he handled all this pretty much one-handed uh, all by himself. Now we helped him on the back end on some of this stuff in our last time we worked him. A couple of things I really do not like about this um, is one, I do not like this head gate. You see the way it closes. I talked about it in the last time we worked them. Uh, we need a scissor style. I'm not sure the technical name for it, but we need a different head gate for sure. Um, and uh, that's one thing. 